Hey, everybody, I just got off the phone with Kim. I told her to stop antagonizing me with this TikTok thing. I said, it's never again. I am her father. I know y'all don't respect fathers and the idea of family and media tries to promote something. I said, I am not allowing my daughter to be used by TikTok, to be used by Disney. Uh, I have a say so. And then when people say, oh, they're going to use this for you in court, I don't even, I didn't have a say so on whether or not they went to Sierra Canyon. Most men do not, there's no such thing as 50 50 custody with, with, in society today. That's not, that's not even, it always leans towards the mom. But right now, and I'm happy that you guys got to see just a small piece of what I dealt with. You understand what I'm saying? So when we had the Donda 2 release in Miami, I got a flight for all my kids to come from Calabasas to come in Miami to see the kids. Then an uh, assistant uh, hit me and said, all the kids, you know, the, they said the kids are there. When the plane took off, I got a text from Kim that said, uh, North won't be on the plane. You see, this is the kind of stuff that's just like the Chicago birthday party. And I'm glad that y'all saw in the variety piece what I have to deal with. Here go another thing. The Doves high school basketball game. We hold one in California. My, my daughter loves basketball. I want her to see the league that her father is starting. North can't go to that game. Now we got Sunday service the morning, uh, this morning at 10 a.m. And it's North had a sleepover, so she can't come to Sunday service. I moved the Sunday service up to 10 a.m. so that I can go to Saints soccer game at 1230. Move the entire thing. So I called different people I knew and the best advice I got right now was from Tory Lanez and he just said to pray and ask for God to speak through me. You know, I got four children and there's so many people who don't have a voice and have the opportunity to be able to speak up and just God, if it is in your will, you know, touch the people that are currently watching my children, whatever sleepovers at, wherever they are at, the various nannies that watch all the, the children um, and and touch them and say, please bring my children to Sunday service this morning at 10 a.m. You know, God, just it's this is out of my hands, it's up to you. This whole conversation of custody, this whole narrative, gaslighting, you know, all of this. It's like right now, this is up to you. I thank you for putting me in a position to be able to make Sunday service and put this online and have my family, you know, be there. If my children be there to, to hear about God, to sing about God, to sing about Jesus Christ, for us to be able to have the, the, the first right, the freedom of speech in America to still talk about God out loud. This morning, God, please, you know, there's no reason why these young children upon their father's re request shouldn't be allowed to come to Sunday service. At this point, it's, it's, it's going too far. God, please. The boyfriend texts me, antagonizing me, bragging about being in bed with my wife. I thought, I thought publicly for a year and a half has been, I've been dragged and how she's not my wife. She don't have a last name. And now he texting me talking and bragging about how he's in bed with my wife. And I'm like, well, who's watching my children? If he's texting me bragging about being in bed, with my wife. And and I thought this wasn't my wife no more legally since I got the, uh, you know, I got the lawyer to finally finish the divorce. Because every time I finish this show, the Free Hoover show, the next day she dropping the last night. Every time I do something positive, it's something negative that's coming. I go and get the laptop from Ray J. Then is she joking about divorce. I go and get the lawyer, change the lawyer so we can finally do the divorce. And then somehow I'm the one that's the stalker. God. 
I just need to protect my children. You protect the children. You t- I know our nannies, some of them are Christian. You touch them, please, God, today and have them bring my children to Sunday service this morning. The devil ain't going to win. You get what I'm saying? This is gaslighting. Kim gets black people out of prison. You know who puts black people in prison? The person that the boyfriend has a tattoo of, Hillary. You understand the setup right here? You understand the narrative right here? God, please, in your son's name, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, please make sure my kids come to Sunday service. Please. Amen. We as men in that community have no say so where our kids go to school. I'll see if Trav does, but Tristan, uh, uh, I know I hadn't had a say so. I didn't want my kids to go to Sierra Canyon. And so when y'all talk about this, are oh, they going to use mental health for the custody? I don't have custody. I had to fight to have my kids not on TikTok. It's been a fight for when my kids go to school and we started our own school. It's always been a gang. You understand? It's like there's we've never had Christmas any place else other than one location for the entire time. And we understand that. But I want y'all to know, like, yo, this has been 20 years. I've been contributing my thoughts, ideas, perspectives. Y'all agree with me sometimes. Y'all don't agree with me. But y'all got someone that can talk to you that's not being controlled by a management conglomerate. You know what I'm saying? I remember one time Jay Brown blatantly said, yo, you're you're crazy, right? But was I crazy when you tried to get 15% of Yeezy for Rock Nation for no reason and I told you no? Was I crazy then? You see, sometimes, you know, it's just like how people in, in Hollywood, they'll bully you for not being a part of exactly what they want, for not voting for Hillary, for not... Just God, I know that people are going to feel me and feel my heart just as a father, you know what I'm saying? Like just as a, as a dad, you know, I, I look up and I wanted to come to Kim's defense in some way about the, when, when everyone was attacking her about the variety, cause that's just my heart as a dad. My spirit is like just to protect at all costs. And I just look at my daughter full makeup singing. She's in love with an emo girl on TikTok. And I have no say nor approval. Hey, what do you think? Do you think this would be cool or not? You know what I mean? And I'm the one that made them cool. But then I'm not asked what's cool for my actual children in America. Like, nah, man. And can't nobody on their side, my side, not Tracy Romulus that puts her kid next to my daughter to try to control her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been fired, Tracy Romulus. Not Ray Romulus, her husband won't say nothing. Like, no, bro, it's up. And the thing that you're not going to do is get me to do anything illegal or anything like your favorite word, erratic. That's why I'm talking to you directly. They wouldn't give me Chicago, the address of Chicago's birthday party so that could scar in her memory that dad wasn't there. When dad want to be there. Y'all turn the idea of me. I was just at the house two days ago with my kids doing homework with Kim right there. Well, y'all running this narrative that somehow I'm this thing. I'm a dad. I have an opinion. I'm an American. I'm a Christian. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm not controlled. 